Our downtown is like none other. It's small, it's compact, but it's walkable, it's historic, and it has opportunity. Because we're centralized, people are seeing that that is a way to capitalize on that opportunity by opening their own business and just doing it themselves. I hope that I can bring a totally unique experience when it comes to dining to Hinton. And I also love that we get a lot of visitors here. So it's a small town, but yet there's an influx of folks that come here to meet with other people. Hinton is a very small community and we have no major tax base. So we're squeezing the penny to be able to pave a street. Just so many little things that we can't do. So we have to scrape resources and bar favors and do anything we can to make things happen for people. That has affected me because we've been able to create opportunities where they weren't. Hinton was a booming town. The turn of the 20th century, it was so self-sufficient. Lumber mills, the railroad was very impactful on the growth of the city. We didn't have to go very far to get what we needed. The magic here that if someone wants something done, they can easily make it happen. Unlike living in a bigger city where it's almost you get lost in the sauce there. And here, anything is possible. Color of the River is going on today. It's one of the largest second Saturday events that we have going on in Hinton. All the people come around and put in their floats and have a good old time. I love everybody coming together and enjoying one of the beautiful things that Hinton has to offer. The river, the Greenbrier River. I grew up in Texas, I'm a Texas girl. I've been actively involved in this community since back in 2017, and everyone loves this place. The natural beauty is just, you know, you don't need much. With the vistas, with the rivers, the mountains, it doesn't take much to be 100% content with life. You look here in town and you look at Sarah and Lucky Rivers and uh, you look at Crystal and Carl and, and you just look at all these folks and and they're happy. They're so I mean, happy. And they're happy to be <laughs> here and, and they love our community. They love our area. They love our county. When you walk in, it's not like, oh gosh, spend all your money here and don't go anywhere else. It's, yeah. hey, you, you need to go here and you need to go there mm -hmm. and you need to go here. And I, I think that that's one of the the wonderful things that will continue to help us grow. So you got the little circle in the middle. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Today is the June edition of Second Saturdays. These events are very important. It's not only just for the local people, but it brings people into town. Past few years, Hinton has seen an influx of growth in their businesses. The community is seeing the importance of supporting those businesses and keeping their money local. Someone opens up a shop, they know the support is there. Being in this community, it's such a great job in the fact that you get to actually make change. It would seem like it would be something easily to do here, just to give up. The southern part of the state, we don't get the attention. We have to do everything on our own. Railroad's dying. What is our industry? We don't have an industry. Biggest retail store goes under. What happens when the biggest retail store goes under? Little stores start popping up. So we'll just buy stuff from mom and pop and everybody else that puts up their stores. You can't wait on anybody to do it for you. You have to go out there and do it yourself. You have to get involved. You have to work hard. Nothing happens overnight. 
One of the things that I'm most proud of, the key to Hinton's growth is its people. Our people are resilient and they will find a way to make it here.